Alright. Ahoy, mateys. How are we doing today, lads and lasses? Uh, just let me p check something really quick. Let me see if the tw Twitch stream is running. Hi. Dorani Hazuloa. I got works. Nice, 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 nice. I got works. Playing Guilty Gear. I don't know how long though. <laughs> uh, I wanted to talk about Evo really quick. Uh, I wasn't there to watch the Guilty Gear Evo Grand Finals, but I I did look at who won. And for some reason, I already kind of knew, saw it coming with Happy Chaos just being the top character in Guild Gear, and he dominated for about a year now. So that's not really new. But uh, watching the Street Fighter VI Top Eight Finals, that was excellent, and I was very glad to see uh, the announcements that they had for Guild Gear and Street Fighter. Um, specifically, the new move changes, if you haven't seen the Twitter, I have, uh, tweeted only about the new Faust move. That's all I cared about. The new, uh, systems, uh, where you, it, you, you can now more apply more pressure or escape, uh, combos without having to use burst. That is excellent. Um, <laughs> that thing takes half of your attention. Or 50% of tension. That's excellent. Uh, other moves was Anji. Anji's getting a new move. But it was not a move that I thought. He should have gotten. I, th Anji had, I think Anji had a different move. If I pull up. His guilty. If I look up accent core really quick. Uh, Anji. I don't think that move. He, that was shown. I don't think we needed. A, he needed another overhead. I think he needed something else, uh, just something that didn't like have to be part of his mix. Oh, let me, let me look at something. Let's say this. Air throws, I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, maybe they did something with, uh, I'm looking at his moves again. Actually, I he had a move where he can go behind you. You know, like how Leo does with uh, card circle forward. You know, 236 heavy slash. Something like that. That probably would have been better. Um, I'm looking. He had a 6 to 3 kick move. And he had an air, and he had an anti-air grab. Those two, actually, okay, that's probably what the move I was thinking of, actually. Get up, 2-1-4, punch. A lot of moves, a lot of moves Anji has that they could have done instead of another overhead. Who knows, maybe, like, maybe that overhead does something else. Maybe it's like a hard knockdown instead of a, instead of a ground bounce. So you can't do OTG s shit. I don't know. P 
Turn up my mic. Is, is my mic not up already? Oh. My mic is all the way up. I don't know what... Yeah, Alan, I can see you. I can see you in the chat, Alan. I had a couple of moves. I still think, um, you know, anti, I, I still think insta kill should come back. Not for the competitive scene, but just for the fans who love it. It's still a move. Um, and then. And then May, uh, able to jump off Dolphin is horrifying. I mean, it's already a pain in the ass to deal with May herself already. So when you're playing against May and she has that Dolphin canceled, uh, like imagine you try to uh, 6P it. Imagine you try to 6P it and then, you know. She jumps, and you're like, oh shit, I'm open. Now I'm just gonna have to take another dolphin up my ass. There was also Johnny. I know Johnny got announced. I don't care for Johnny too much. He's not a top character for me. He should, he's just the himbo fighter. <laughs> that That's about it. He's a himbo. He's never had a, he's never had like too much of a special design. In my heart characters like Raven, Abba, and Venom, they take that cake. Johnny takes the brownie. It is interesting to see it is it is interesting to see that um they're getting rid of the coin mechanic. I'm sure casuals are looking at Johnny like, ooh, he's so cool. Well, he is cool. He really is. <laughs> Just not my type of tea. Um, I do want to also look at... Some arcade sticks later. After I'm done playing some Guilty Gear. I also just want to play some King of Fighters and a few other games. It's been a bit too long since I've played this. I haven't played KOF since I streamed it on release. And Killer Instinct got an update during EVO. And, uh... <laughs> My Killer Instinct got an update. Alright, it's getting an update soon, sorry. It's getting an upsa update soon, and it will not only probably bring it back to Twitch streams for just a little bit lo while, right? Like a week. Uh, but, you know, whole era is going to change. Like, that is a dedicated community, and I'm going to get back into the game, even if they do <laughs> nerf Rash. I like Rash a lot. Battletoads is a... It's a W game, and it's like he's the only weird Zen Zank char character. So, um, you know, yada yada. Uh, another th another thing though is sorry, my mind's blanking. Oh, I w yeah, I want to look at some arcade sticks because I've been getting into the. Mood of wanting a new arcade stick. You know, like how women might want a baby. <laughs> uh, so I have the sub, I have the subreddit pull it up. 
making sure I have nothing NSFW worthy. Yeah. Speaking of NSFW though, um, just, 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 um, I, 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 just earlier, just now, um, saw my friends playing Baldur's Gate, lads. Um, I didn't know that was something, um, you could do, like, the cyberpunk situation. Just, just full-on nudity. Oh, right, they showed shit for Project L. I'm still hyped about that game. It's been so long. I'm glad they finally announced another, th uh, another update for it for this year's Evo, like they did last year, announcing Lowy. Um... One thing, Yasuo, that's cool. Never been a big Yasuo guy, um, but you know, Yasuo might be different in Project L, which made me, I might like him a bit more. Uh, there's, some, someone, someone was showing off Project L and said there were, there were some, uh, there were some colors referencing. I saw Ari's colors. Ari had some Morrigan colors, which I love that. Uh, again, don't like Morrigan because of the succubus idea and what she dresses up as. It's I don't know. I feel like it's, even if you're a succubus, you should st still dress properly. But, you know, had Morrigan colors. I love that. So these people know the private one at Project Dell knows what they're doing. They had an Akuma color for Yasuo, and um, now I'm hoping to see a Homaru or Hamaru color from Samurai Showdown uh, have a color of his own for Project L. I don't know; it just fits the character perfectly. <laughs> I don't know if it, I think it's just the hair, though. The hair and clothing it's way too similar. Um. Actually, let me check the Project L Reddit right now while I'm on it, on Reddit. <sighs> uh, someone was able to get some get a picture of uh one of the stages, the pil yeah the Piltover Bridge stage. Oh, they were just able to get pictures of both the sp Ionian, the Ionian and the Piltover Bridge stage. Oh, wow. Juliana Yi and so that's cool oh there's oh there's faces oh they got facial expressions on here wait the fuck what the fuck someone got a someone got an animation for love it. hold on I might just pull this up I might be a bit distracted um, I just, hold on, hold on, that's probably not what I want to do, um, wait, just give me a second, I want to show this really quick, want my reaction, and, uh, but, uh, Let's see. This. Under capture. Okay, I have it pulled up. Um, let me just re- Oops, I'll put it behind. Okay. Let me just minimize this. Hey, right. you'll see it. Have it pulled up. Have it pulled up. Um go. Actually can I just put this over here? Yeah, I can. Okay. Alright. 
<laughs> Clip my reaction. I'm gonna do a pog. Oh. Uh. Okay. Let's watch. Oh. Uh. Why is my quality shit? God damn it, Twitter. No shit. Oh, the screen's black now. No. Oh, uh, why? God damn it. Not even Twitter anymore, right? It's X. I keep forgetting, nor do I care. If I risk watching it on Twitter, I don't think I'll get any porn on Twitter. Uh, fuck Elon Musk. I don't care if it's called X. And disrespect his ass. Um, uh, here we go. Shit, shit. I want... Can I, like, raise the damn video settings? N no. What, like, the hell? Okay. So we got... Okay. Oh, what the fuck? What the shit? This the level 3? No, wait, they said this was level 2. Hold on, I need to... My, my small brain needs to un understand. I don't know if there's any echo colors I'll get. I hope I, I, hope I get the references. Now, black and gold are a color stick. So, he's about to die. Hold on. Like, like he's about to die. Like, Ari hits a super. I don't know if that's level 1, 2, or 3. Uh... Echo does a super as well. Gets knocked over. And I guess this is rewind. And goes into a full on cinematic. Can, oh my god man. The shit. We got a green team man. That's cool. I really wish I was able to travel more often and go to places like Evo. You gotta you gotta back on Vegas, go see Evo. Uh I recognize that I'm pulling up my Twitter may bring up some naughty shit, so KOF fifteen shouldn't have anything anything too bad. Oh shit, cookery interaction. I wanna see this. A descendant. <laughs> I love Kukri. Kukri is such a goofy character, man. Hope you like saying because you're going to be buried in it. Talk so much. This is me every every time I'm in the closet. <laughs> it sounds like he said much more that they just didn't subtitle. She was flabbergasted. Yeah, I'm playing... KOF after some Guilty Gear for sure. I bought the Samurai Showdown DLC. That's all I cared about. I love Sam Show. So uh, being able to play someone like Darley and Hamaru uh, uh, fire. Just suck how they didn't get Kyodro. Just, just this whole interaction though is fucking outstanding. Look how he moves. Every, there needs to be, every character needs to have an interaction with Kukri to get shit like this. It's also unbelievable how he's related to Dolores, the best fucking female character in KOF 15. I'm, I'm guessing like there's more Nod shit over here. Like, is it Nash or is it Nodge? I can never tell. I'm, now I'm not paying attention to the combo, fuck. I don't play enough KOF to understand. So it's a counter combo. Some mix up. Okay. 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 My <laughs> shit. I don't remember anything on KOF. Oh. Wait, I thought she had her face covered in the trailer. Did she not? Th this this is excellent. <laughs> Everyone's face is excellent. 
Why I saw something? Oh shit! No shit! I saw something. Don't know if I need to go back. God damn it! What's going on Trump's Twitter? I don't want to know. Actually, never mind. Uh, Vanessa. Oh no, it's just etchy. Vanessa. There we go. We got. There we go. My. Okay, the Darley Dagger. Some Cronin stuff. Oh, patch notes. I'm not gonna understand any of this because I'm jank like that. Duolan was an interesting character as well. I didn't like him in 13. I liked uh, Elizabeth, Terry. Um, I think I liked Billy. I don't, I don't think I've ever had, like, a third member of my KOF team. Maybe Athena. Might have been Ath Athena or Benamaru. But they were both characters, you know, that, like, didn't. KOF 13 didn't have char too many characters that piqued my interest. I think it was just Terry and Elizabeth. So when they showed the 15 roster, um, they already kind of, like, had me. I didn't, I didn't play 14. Uh, I was introduced to 13. Uh, when 14 was out and shit, I didn't really care for 14. Uh, you know, and then I played 15 when that came out. And I, but before all of that, I saw the trailers. And uh, other than Terry, the other characters that had uh, piqued my interest were Kukri. Uh, I think it was just how he just stood out from the others, though. Like I, like the rest of my fighter pool. Uh, Kyojiro in Sam Show, fucking weird ass dude. A little bit of Tam Tam, I love Tam Tam. Uh, Dar Darling. Uh, Guilty Gear, it's been Faust, Coom, and, uh, maybe Zappa. Uh, probably would need to play a little bit more Zappa on Axe and Cola. In Smash Bros, it's Plant and Bowser Jr. And some Donkey Kong, right? I love, I love Plant. Plant was amazing. Uh, more Nosh combos. Caleb is known for such dirty combos. I love it. Dude, poor Kukri. The thing about this game is that you can just get some nasty ass touch of deaths in this game. You really can. It's, 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 it's both excellent and horrifying. Like Dar, I figured out Darley had a. I figured Darley had a, a touch of death, and she did. I played her trials. I that was like one of the few trials I can actually get through. I played the trials. I'm horrified by that she can do that, and now she's my anchor. Um. Oh, I do need to play B Jeanette. <laughs> Is Kukri popular? I've been seeing him a lot. He was not popular. I don't think it was good at the start of KOF. He, they must have gotten something that made him better now. Because I don't... This is the first time I'm like seeing so much Kukri popularity. Um, I liked Luang, Luang but that was because of porny reasons. I think she's the only character I liked for horny reasons. Um, I'll go further into that. Bijanet interests me. I never... I, I didn't even know... What Garo was, so it didn't seem to be Jeanette like this. Uh, makes me want to play the character and Garo. I can't. I don't know if Garo's a. It works like KOF or works more like a more traditional fighting game where it's uh one on one. This is losers top thirty two really. Well, I don't even know what the combo was. I was too busy to talking. Hold on. Some overhead. Okay, I need to remember all this. Ah. Able to roll out. It's so fast paced for a game that looks like it's just Street Fighter's twin brother. 
Oh, wait, no, this is a comeback. Oh, wait, yeah, here it is. What the fuck? Gets him in a corner. And just obliterates. Oh, no. My team right now, though, consists of Kukri, Elizabeth, and uh, Darling. At the moment, I, it was uh, it had Antonov before. Antonov probably still stays, because Antonov's big, big Russian Texan man. How do you have a Texan and Russian accent? Black like this brother, but you do you do a little bit of deeper voice, and you love communism instead of because I don't know. <laughs> uh, more Nash nice stuff. What's this? Oh, it's a mod. Oh, I like that actually. It's a little more simplistic. Don't get me wrong, like you can do over this shit and it looks great, but I do like some of the simplicity like this. It's not like all jewels and shit. And yet I don't like Ryu. <laughs> I don't like Ryu again. They've always struck that as Barton. Magic team with any fire. Oh, it's just the. I forgot they do these like fake interviews with the characters. Noble minded with their own beliefs and values. Then again, something tells me there's a lot of people like that. So it's tough to name names. Jizaru uh. Kagura. 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 Fuck, man. Jizuru Kagura. Fucking hell, man. And Elizabeth Van Short. Is there like an art ending with them as well? That'd be cool. Oh, what is this? What's this ending with Ash? The fuck is this? <laughs> <sighs> Anything else? Yeah, I wonder if they're ever gonna like build up on Shanae and um Isla. Izzle was a cool character, but if she's like a one-time character, that'll definitely tick me off. <laughs> What's this? The FF gang. Is this, is this the fi final fighting? The, oh no, first fighters. Look at these. Look at them. We got... I almost said Kazuya. We got Ryu, we got Kyo, we got Soul, and we got Jin, and then... I don't know. I would have thought I'd see Kazuya there. <laughs> that is probably like something I want to see. I want to see... If there was ever a new Smash Bros or Smash Bros announced, they had a new season. Other than Rayman and Crash, I would ask for one of the Guilty Gear characters. I know, like, Sakura said, like, they can't, he won't add anime characters, like, you know, Goku and shit. Like, at the same time, you have anime-ish games, you have Final Fantasy, and then you have the whole fucking Fire Emblem cast. And then you have Xenoblade, which is also anime-ish, so. I think it's safe to say that, it's like, seeing a Guilty Gear character in wouldn't be bad. <laughs> or, like, it, it's possible for a Guilty Gear character in. Unless, like, the the team would be hip hypocritical about it. <laughs> yeah, like, another Xenoblade character, very anime-ish. 
that they won't add someone like Soul or Kai. I would love to see Soul. Soul or Sin in the game. It makes the most sense, I feel like. Kai... No, because we couldn't have Soul. We wouldn't be able to have Soul in that game because he worked too much. He would look, work a bit similar like uh, Terry Bogard. No shit. Like he would just be a fucking Echo Fighter if they they had that, right? Like his fireball would be the same. Uh, no, maybe not. Fireball would be the same. No, but then he has that move where he dashes forward. That's a thing. Anti air also works like it's like up up neutral up B yeah, okay nah it wouldn't it wouldn't work. So Sin or Kai then, but I don't think Kai is like the best bet either because he's just another set of so the idea is you have Sin who is a mixture of or kind of the mixture of the two. Uh or you go out of pocket and you add someone you wouldn't even think you would see in Smash Bros. from the Guilty Gear franchise. Oh, uh, wait, is that KOF? No, I don't think that KOF still is open still, is it? Uh, I don't know if this SNK Heroines is good. It's not like I'm gonna be able to play it anyway, no one's probably on that game. That's a question, like, is, is it, um, World Championship, what is that? Right, there was, the, like, that one sumo girl, um, she was my most original sumo character. Be cool if they brought her back, but, you know, it's. Like even if their motive is to shatter expectations, it's a. Uh, I don't think they're gonna go that far. Well, no, maybe not. Because they were able to get sh uh, Team Orochi and CYS, both both of them for shit's sake, they were able to bring back Ash. Same with Elizabeth. Even Cronin, they were even they were e even able to bring back Cronin. Is this the popularity that they used? Character. This is the character usage for top six. Let's see. Kukuri, Luong, Isla, Geese. I actually showed by Geese off of Tekken 7. Even though like that game is about to like kind of evaporate. I still kind of want to play Geese to see how he played out like Akuma. Um, I don't think Geese was as broken as Akuma though, right? Clark, Hydern, Matenkin, Ash, Shermi, Yori. Shermi is a cool grappler. Shermi is like one of the more original grapplers, grapplers at least I think so. Team villain, no, this was team hero, right? Yeah, Shen wouldn't be a bad choice to bring back as well. Shen had a cool design. Actually, Shen did really have a cool design. He had a cool design, actually. He, felt, he was also one of those KOF characters that like felt more Ooh. original. Um, I don't know. You seen this character? I don't know. I don't think they did. They announce anything? No, yeah, they announced Dual on right. <laughs> Jax, they're not gonna bring back. Jax is a confirmed cameo, which kind of like lessens the odds of him being in the Mortal Kombat games. And it was this option. No, nah, they they got Pekora. Rusha would be a cool idea. Would be a cool character, but um. Would be a cool VTuber to add since she also brought out such a massive impact like uh, Coco. But but they they announced Pekora. So 
so. I hope that character's fun. I needed to play that. I need to play that game. Mm -hmm. I wanted to stream it, but I guess I didn't. Oh yeah, was this a touch of death? Or no, that they must have done something wrong. I feel like they. No, because I saw a touch of death earlier, so. They missed the stuff. <laughs> but it still worked and all connected, so that's fine. Um. Oh, wait, right. We got one more character in the season. In the season 2 pass. Oh, no. That might be, um. Might not be. That might not be good. Is this character usage? Yeah, usage. Usage? Again? Okay. What's this? Johnny just reminded me of Oswald. Who's Oswald? I don't really have much to say. He, he was so excited and he remembered Oswald. But who's Oswald? I don't know my KOF characters as well. But who is Oswald? Um I'm definitely gonna stream Mortal Kombat, but I'm not um, KOF. You better have a promising design. Hold on. If John reminded him, oh, this was Oswald. Oh right, he's the weird card hitman dude. Right, right. No, he wouldn't be. No, he wouldn't be bad. He wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. Uh. K dash, I am your father. No. Johnny, that's a not now now that you pointed it out, there's a little bit of Oswald, but I don't know Oswald's kid to like say, Oh, that's hundred percent Oswald. Another Nash combo. Is this the same combo or is it different? We got the dash max cancel. And then we go into Yeah, this is the T O D. Yeah. Wow. I don't even know going in. I just like popped in on KOF. I got the uh, two DLC, one was a Rugal and then one was going in. Candy pop explosion through our YouTube membership. Uh, why is the Wiglet plush borderline NSFW? IGN, why is it? You gotta give me a reason other than that it's borderline NSFW to give me a reason. I'm already kind of shocked with the Baldur's Gate fucking loot lutity. Are you sure that's, you sure that's just the... Not, okay. They see a dildo. That's what that's what they see because it's standing erect. Okay. Could have had something more interesting. Oh wait, I'm scrolling through my Twitter shit. Can't do that. No, no, no. But that echo. Yeah. Again, back to this echo combo. Mm -hmm. Very cool. The perfect Project L joke fire. I was watching Nicky Boy's video uh, last night. And, um. Uh, I was watching Nicky Boy's video last night. And his joke fighter of choice would be Bard. I actually would like Bard. Um. The. One of my highest expectations for the game. Is 
not only a funny, goofy character, I is um. Zana is a more original characters, like what Legends of Runeterra has done a few times. Like they showed Nora, they showed Jack, and they showed the Portal King. They have three original champions, all in lore. I hope they do something like that with Project L. So if they're ever bored or they're having a hard time making a champion, uh, a character for Project L, like let's say uh, Shaco, because Shaco's boring as shit. Like you can't really do much invisibility and just just do teleports, whatever. Um, they could, I don't know, just make original character if they're having like a hard time. But I, I see, I don't, but at the same time, I don't see that ever happening with how much every League of Legends character's kit and abilities just stand out. Like, I saw Yasuo's moveset. The wind wall, I didn't even think that was going to be possible to add into a fighting game, but, like, I knew there were ways to cancel, too you know, counteract projectiles, like you throw, you throw a fireball or you have a reflect to move. But I didn't think there was going to be a full-on, they were going to add like add the full-on wind wall. That was going to be like kind of like a small like splash and it's a reflect. So, they, they, they know what they're doing. They know how it's going to work. Someone has already made a loadout for Project Devil with a GameCube controller. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, this is the Nintendo Switch GameCube. Oh, shit. I want to look at this. Please, let up. Perry Dash. I like the GameCube controller, but at the same time, like, I hate those triggers because they, it, it feels like it takes longer to sink in. It feels longer to pull it. Like, you, you, you press it down. And you don't get that click till like uh, a mill, like uh, like point five milliseconds in. You're like, but that's that's annoying. It's just it's just also a spring. Uh, but hold on. Light, medium, heavy. See the issue with this, I think, may just be that your medium is the big button. Um. And don't get me wrong, like mediums, mediums are good, right? Medi your mediums are good, like right? Like get the gear, me your medium would be your slash button, and such. But you know, you're still open, and for some characters, it may not work as well. That's why you always have your light button. That's why you always spam light. You mash your light jabs. Um, I don't know. That's just me. It might not. It may work. It may not work. Who knows? Um, but, there are also people saying they prefer the previous art style to Project L compared to oh, compared to the new one. I like both. I like what they were doing with this. But like if you look at some moves like you can see like Ari's tail does not look right on further expectation it does not look right. Uh this fire was fine though. But I think like as soon as they got more of a budget they were like let's go over the top. Let's do what like Guilty Gear and Arxis has been doing with a lot of their games recently. They went with like this more 2.5D gives you the illusion it's 2D but it is genuinely 3D. I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> I think it really just comes down to biased opinion on what fighting games you have played. If you're growing up with playing Street Fighter then they're, you're probably are gonna like the first style than the newer one. Oh shit.
Uh, I can't go back. Fuck. Hold on. All right. Let's see. Yeah, here are the stages. I didn't even think people were able to get the screenshots of them yet. This is dope, man. You can see Jinx's graffiti. You can see homeless men. It's cool. It's lovely. And then, yeah, uh, like facial expressions here. We got some Yasuo ones, right? What's the. What's the. Fucking what you call them? Sideburns. This looks more expressive than this one, sadly. Damn. But who knows? Maybe it'll change that. And then, you know, look at all these facial expressions with the other characters. <laughs> I love that, man. Uh ah, oh, there's a key. someone made a keyboard. What do, so yeah, we have our WASD. So they kind of do a six button layout, right? It's like you have all your attacking buttons at the top, one, two, three, and then you have your then you have your specials and your throw. Right? So it's a six button layout. They said it was a three button layout, but then you have these other three buttons that are also like unique on their own. <laughs> I feel like out of all the characters. Yeah, here it is. Here's like the Morrigan color here. Look how dope that is. Wow, there was a grappler stance. Assuming we are only getting one of these two frail as frail reps, which would be bullshit. I feel like we should have just as many Zon Zon representation Zon and Ionian representation. Oh I'm sure too. Oh my back. Uh, like I was saying, there should be as much Freljord and uh, Shreeman and Targonian re representation as there is for Zonite and Ionian in both Braum and Udyr work. I do want to see Olaf. I definitely want to see Olaf and have a bunch of armor and people get frustrated. I've hated armor. I, I love grapplers, but then when they, but then you know you go against Potemkin who has armor in his moves it's kind of like i don't like this i never had a frustration against grapplers i've only had a frustration is against some bullshit things like fireball spam and uh fireball spam and armor other than that it's like <laughs> it's fine um brown would not even be a grappler he he's a dude with the door. You can't really do much with. You can't really grapple much when you're holding a big ass door as your shield. He'd be, be definitely be a bruiser and swing his, and definitely like shove his door in front of your face. Udir would technically have a grappler stance. Um, I mean Udir has like what four, five different stance forms. Um, right, he has. He has the boar, the the bear, the ram, and the phoenix. Either the ram or the boar could be a grappler stance. Phoenix, I'm seeing more as a zoner, but it's possible to make the bear stance a zoner because there's the, you know there's little jumpy balls those work. So that also wouldn't be out of the question. Bora Ram would definitely work as a stance. And then apparently there's move lists for the champions. Uh oh, did you, oh I thought there was one for Alawi. I I only care about Alawi at that entire roster. Um like don't get me wrong, I think you also like are cool. But they are mainly popular champions and I wanna play a champion that I have enjoyed personally myself. <laughs> like back to the Udir. 
One of those could be a grappler stance. Like if he's a stance character, I think now is the time to make Uyuhiro the first ever stance character who can have multiple variations. Like there's, he can either go into a zoner, into a, into a uh, grappler, right? With characters like Leo. He has a defensive stance, you know, he can do shit, but he can't really do much. And he's still melee in his regular stance, you know, non-stance form. He's still rushing in. Same goes with his other stance. He's still going in, but he's now more aggressive and open wide. So, you know, it's... it's like, that's the chance to, like, make something interesting. Fiddlesticks would be a zoner, though. I can imagine, like, you can mix his fiddles kit with Faust, this, uh, new, well, like, Guilty Gear Strives Faust, where you can put down, where you can have Scarecrows, but instead of immediately te teleporting to the Scarecrows, you can uh, set the Scarecrow up, like, like a Garrus. Think, 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 think Garrus, Garrus's Sanclo. You can set the clone up, and then you have the option to option to either detonate it, or you have the option to go to it and do some funky shit. Um, I don't think CC is gonna be in this game. Maybe st maybe stuff like slows and uh, damage debuffs. Maybe I don't, but stuff like a fear won't work. So. I don't know. Maybe maybe a chip, maybe a debuff on endurance, like a chip, like something to buff chip damage, like they have with Darius, who apparently has the wound passive, where if he attacks the person, they will take and they're blocking after that, they'll take more chip damage. You know, which is very fucking nasty. I'll tell you that. Um, what's the tier list? I look at this tier list. And then there's something about all the marksmen not being in Project L. Especially in like the base roster. Because they're all kind of just the same. They're all kind of just the fucking same. Where it's... They have a gun. They shoot far. The only other person I can see that who only other mark only a few marksmen I can see are Samira, Nyla, uh, maybe Twitch and Aphelios. MSL fail even still Aphelios is kind of eh. Well, what's this list? Arcane privilege. I don't think it just because they're in arcane means they're gonna get in. What 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 is this? Hold on. Basically guaranteed. What the fuck is this? What 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 is that? By the volley bear. What is that by the volley bear? No, Yomi would not work. Yomi as an entire character just does not work in this game. And I think we've kind of figured out with Alawi is that the char these characters have more of a chance if they're melee, not a cat on a book. We are not trying to have pet shop, even be being ten times useless. We're not trying to fucking do math where we can make Pet Shop as a character, a very annoying, aggressive character, very broken, as a character who just sits on their ass and do nothing. I, I, I can imagine Yumi is just the dynamic mode in Street Fighter 6. They don't do anything. You just pr press a button, they already auto combo. Yumi just does not work. Now, if we had someone like Nora, right, Yumi's owner, that we can clearly see in Legends of Runeterra, then it would work. The character could be a three and one. Okay, you have Nora. She uses the book, and she has Yumi. Just throw the fucking, just throw the cat. Just throw, just throw, just throw, the, just throw the cat, right? Like, it's, it's that's all I can see. If you ever made Yumi, Yumi is never to be in. If I see Yumi in the base roster, I'm shooting Tom Cannon. I do not care if he's give us <laughs> Evo. I don't, and I don't care if he's give us giving us rollback Nico. Yumi just can't be in the game.
specially based roster that was a that would be a wasted slot. Anyway, I love Tom Cannon, respect him. Just don't add Yumi. <laughs> uh, who else is in here? Basically guaranteed. Yasuo, yep, he's in. Yone, Zed, Samira. Zyra Khan makes perfect sense, especially on a tag team fighter. Just works. Maybe not as in duo, duo queue, when, you know, because that's how the game's going to work. You can, the game's going to kind of work, where you can duo with a friend. Uh, they could do Zion Rakan, but probably not likely, especially if it's a randoms. Set as 100%. Akali's kind of like, don't get me wrong, I, li I like ninja characters, but Akali can, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just the amount of Ionian champions we have in here, because the Riot likes to make all the Asian-based characters sick while they while we leave the Freljord and Bandle City to die. Or Camivore. What the hell, Camivore? Um. Anyway, uh, anyway. Uh. Samira works. Camille. She probably wouldn't be able to be base roster. But she could be. In later. Later on. In future. In future patches and shit. I don't know. Fiora's. There's so many people that say Fiora deserves to be in the game. She would just play like Charlotte. But without the fireballs. That's really it. In Sam show. She just kind of play pokey, like regular, like like regular um, fencing. Like I, I, I don't get me wrong, I think fencing is unique in the fighting game, but uh, Irelia that works, Kane works, Pansion needs to be. Same with Pike and Kiana. Sin is a hundred percent. Like he's another Bruiser champ. Like Sin and Vi, all three of them work. Silas or Nico can work as well. They can just deal the characters. They're like the Mokajin. They work like a Mokajin or Eleven. Viego. For some reason, if they added Viego into the game, I feel like that would make his model and effects way too distracting. And uh, last but not least, Volleybear. Volleybear works. But we have to also think, how is size going to work? In it's going to work probably like League. Like everyone's like... At least a human size. So, maybe. Um, Gwen. Scissors need to be shown in fighting games. Scissors have capabilities. Nidalee's kind of like, okay. Um, definitely don't think... She, I, I definitely don't think... I don't think characters who throw the weapon should... I don't know, stuff like Draven and Nidalee, if they throw their weapon, they're kind of like, defenseless. Well, maybe not for Nidalee, she still can turn into a tiger, so I guess we're fine there. Same with, like, Elise, just, yeah. Aesol does not work. Um. He doesn't work since, for a couple of reasons. How would you get... Like, I, I think centaurs do work. I cent Centaurs work in the fighting game. I really do. But with Aesol, he's not really standing. He's levitating. It's the whole pet shop situation where they can just stay in the air. It, it's, 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 like, he's levitating. He doesn't really need, like, he, he has legs, but, like, they're very small. So to, even, like, if he could sit on the ground, like, he's mainly going to probably be bellyling on it. Dragon's Breath is, like, none of his moves look like you can translate them into a fighting game. I could be wrong. Like I said, like, they made a Lowie work. They've clearly made a Lowie work. They made Jinx work somehow. We haven't seen any gameplay of Jinx forever. Um, so. <laughs> it's, maybe it's possible. But it's not, like, I don't think it's, like, the best to translate. He could have, like, that, like, again, like, Garrus, where he has, like, the sand, uh, move where he can pull the enemy in that does work uh but like stuff like i don't know i don't know i don't know if it works like i don't i don't know 
I don't know. Okay, man, I, he'd, he'd be a weird character. Zoe is a joke character. <laughs> I think you can do something cool with Zoe, though. Uh, like, you can do redirectional shit. Zoe's a character with portals. She can set up portals, right? Why not have her, like, throw her, have a fireball? But she sets up portals all across the stage in which you can redirect and, you know, stress the hell out of your enemy. Like how you how she stresses out the car person in Leak. He's a no-brainer for sure. Um, definitely would be a glass cannon since they're not making Yasuo to be a glass cannon. Um... Thresh, yeah, that works. I and either way, like if you can have him as a support, or you can have him as, it's like I literally have him as a support fighter, or you can have him as like a cool character with a whip or hook. I mean, have you not played Omega Strikers with us? Uh, not Silas. What's his name? That dude. Yeah, Rasmus. Rasmus is pretty much just Thresh, but human and a lot more charming. And hot, and would definitely like you know to fucking fuck me, fuck me till my brain dies. Um, Thresh Thr can it be just like that character? I can see stuff with the hook being with assist. Rang, if you have Rangar, you have Kha'Zix, but not in the sense like you have them both together. You have them against each other. They, they're like there's not a, like rivals, I guess you can say in League. Um, how do I how do I part this out? There's rivals, but most of the time they seem to be blood related, and for some reason it kind of takes away, like sibling. Don't don't get me wrong. The sibling sibling rivalry rivalry is a thing. It happens, but like that feels a bit predictable. So like having rivals of characters, like Ken and Ryu, where they worked under the same master. But have different perspectives, have different philosophies. I want something like that. Like Hamaru and Genjiro. That is the same thing where they have, where they fight each other with different perspectives. So. But it's like, it's it's different with Rengar and Kha'Zix though. Because they're trying to hunt each other down. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know where I'm going with this. I rant. I rant to the point where I don't even make sense. I don't even know if I am making sense. Um, LeBlanc would have a stun instead of a root. I feel like if LeBlanc combos you enough, she'll have a meter where she can stun you and then just does it all over again. And again, another pain in the ass character because she can also just do some jabation. Shavana could work, but the dragon would have to be a super. I don't see the dragon working as a stance or anything. I don't. I don't see it. Mainly because. Like, you can't have a small dragon, right? Like, it's hard to even have a small dragon. Like, <sighs> like having a small dragon kind of just takes away the aspect of Shavana being up, being this brave woman, being even more menacing in her dragon form. If you make it small, it's a joke. It's a joke. So it would just have to be a super, right? I don't, I don't, maybe that's just me. Rise is a character I think could work, but he kind of would have to work in a sense like Mortal Kombat, where he has very slow fireballs. It punishes him. He has he has ranged grab, low grabs, and low hit grabs, and uh, he has a teleport like some of the, our other beloved Mortal Kombat characters. But as like you know, he'd be a shitty mage. <laughs> Gangplank, some, uh, Naked Boy brought up that Gangplank could be a fun set play character. I didn't think about this. I was contemplated, like, how could Gangplank work? Especially with barrels. But then he brought it up, and it's like, I didn't think of that, right? I, di I didn't think of that. You can set up the barrel. And because GP, because you can't really destroy the barrels in a fighting game, you can't really destroy setups in a fighting game. You kind of just have to wait for the inevitable. You can do some stupid stuff with barrel. Barrel, can you imagine if GP has the ability to just juggle you with barrels? Can you imagine? You're imagine, imagine, imagine. You're stuck in you're stuck in a corner, right? You're stuck in a corner. 
and, and, and you, you try, you think you have an opening, only for a barrel to boom, so, knock you up into the air, and GP does, does some nasty shit, and you know, he gets a Lowey in, okay, a Lowey starts banging you with the tentacles, starts banging you, and I, I mean, I mean like hard, I mean like these tentacles are slamming you down to the ground, okay, only to get another ground bounce, only for GP to set up another barrel by that time, and lift you up into the air, over and over, to your character is dead, dead okay and you have no burst you have no burst you have no way to exit okay you're screwed you have no reversals nothing you're dead you're barrel juggled i want you just imagine that 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 works it works gp's a character who looks like he doesn't work but you can that's like but like in the bizarre world of fighting games barrels are not out of the question. There are so many characters who have setups. And it works. You can have balloons as a setup. Bowser Jr. has the Mecha Koopas to set up shit. Peach with her fucking peaches. Villager with the Lloyd. And it's, 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 yeah. It works. I know I just brought up a bunch of platform fighter. But it still works. Unlike Aisle. Aisle kind of just like. He kind of be like Rise in a sense. He kind of be right like Rise, but he has one of those running bashing moves, and that just doesn't seem like Aisle. Aisle's a godly character. He should have godly moves, but there's no mo move set that makes him seem like godly. He he just needs a mint. <laughs> Fiddlesticks. I'm gonna ignore Diana because Diana's very like yeah. That's that's a yes. Fiddlesticks is a demon, <laughs> and you know, uh, how do I put this out? I think I mentioned this. I just mentioned this. Earlier. Fiddlesticks would work like my Faust, right? I think he would be like my main if they did what I'm conceptualizing, where he has scarecrows. Fiddlesticks, especially in this rework, is known to have scarecrows where if you put one down, it gives you a vision. But since that doesn't really work in a fighting game, right? Like, you don't need vision to, you know, you, 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 like, there's no way to blind a person or anything, right? And fear doesn't work. Fiddle, his whole priority, I think, would be his scarecrow. I'm gonna send this Tom Cannon by the way. I'm gonna have both the GP and Fiddle Clips separate. And I may go on a long ass rant, but you know, it works. So Fiddle, he should have a scarecrow. His whole gimmick is a scarecrow, right? We've seen this before with Garrus in Mortal Kombat 11, right? Garrus can set up a sand clone version of himself and he has two options. He can either teleport to it or he can blow it up with the snap of his fingers. Fiddlesticks can do that. And, right, that's the whole point. Fiddlesticks can do that. He has a very wonky moves, but in, in his, and why not have a toolkit to go with that? Very wonky. Okay, you got, he's got scarecrows. You're trying to think, is he going to teleport to me? Or is he going to blow it up? You'll never know. And then, all of a sudden, there's a feint. He has a feint move, right? Like, every, every character... That it thinks they're good has a faint. Azacena and Tekken 8 has a faint. DJ has a faint. It, it works, right? You have, you have now three options. You have you when you make a clone, you you either go to the clone, right, wherever you positioned it, you blow up the clone, or you faint. You catch the opponent off guard. And then you do some nasty stuff. And I mean, like, he, he sucks you off, right? Sucking command grab. It works. He has a fireball. Not like a, not like a full, full screen fireball, but like a mid-range fireball. Like, you blow it out and you have, and it's like last there for a second before evaporating. That's how I can see Fiddle working. It's horrifying. 
And if you really want to be classic, you can go back to Old Fiddle, look at his bird, bring back bird, make it work, work like Testament bird, and bird just bird bird. Okay, bird flies. If they jump, you can use bird, and it's an ant here. You can you can crouch, or you can send bird down. It's an overhead. You can bird people. Think about it. Tom, think about the bird. Anyway. Anyway, anyway. As, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bert, okay. Now I have Swain. Another bird character. <laughs> This isn't even a Guild Gear stream. This is just me talking about League of Legends and Project L shit. Swain, I, again, with Nicky Boy's video, um, I like how he went with sw the direction of Swain, where he's not a zoner, but he's more of like an aggressive mage, like how I'm seeing with the new Rain and all, and uh, the new Rain, and you know characters like Happy Chaos, where they're not even a mage anymore. They just got a gun and they blast you. Swain could could work like that. I can imagine he has, you know, he he can zap you. It's it's a, it's not like a hit stun move. It just zaps you, really quick. Uh, you know his uh eyeball. Uh, again, you don't really need vision in a fighting game. That's not how it works. So you can make it like a bubble. Think like, man, I'm really comparing a lot of shit to Mortal Kombat today. But you know, a bubble. You know, you know. He sets up a bottle, bubble and knocks up. You can probably get an air combo off of that, right? Air combos are all all the shit in a in a tag team fighting game. So bubble, and then E is you know the pull, and while pulls are a thing, I think that would be better if that was like one of his main moves. You know, like his heavy, like like a forward heavy or something. You hit him, and it it, it kind of just pulls them in it, it, on block or not. That's kind of how I imagine it. It's not like as interesting as I had for Fiddle or GP. <laughs> I, I think Fiddle and GP have I've made better concepts for. Um, and speaking of birds, like we got three birds in a row. Uh, our first bird, uh, you know, our first bird man was is Fiddle. Then we got Swan. Now we got Azir. Now Azir is very simple. He's a puppet character. He should just set guards up. The guards do all his bidding. And you know he has escape routes because he's a zoner. Every 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 puppet character is a zoner. I don't want to hear it. Minot is a zoner. Zato is a zoner. Chaos is a zoner. I don't want to hear it. And, and as they are all like a subcategory of zoners, zoners should always have an escape mechanism. I don't care. This is a, I even as even though I hate zoners much more because they are the pussies of the players. Zero should be given an escape m mechanic like he has in league. Okay, he has soldiers. He can move back and forth. Sure, sure, sure. You just gotta give him a meter like Zato should because I feel like that would be too busted if they give him, didn't give uh, Zero a meter for a puppet character. So you have that shit out and you uh, you can move your soldiers right. I f you can move your soldiers or. You make it work like Zotto, where you have this one big soldier, and you can kind of just move him around, and you can you can give him a name or not. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, you can move him around. He can juggle, you know. Like, it works kind of just entirely like Zotto, but if you really want to be original, give him an escape, not only an escape mechanism, give him a wall, and don't make that, don't make the big wall he has for an old, for his, like, super, right? Make that, like, an ability where... Like, there's characters in fighting games. You don't see it often. But there's characters who can actually, like, just shorten the field to create corner combos a lot more quicker. Azir should be able to do that, where he's able to make a wall behind a person. It's a jumpable wall, right? It's a jumpable wall. But it's a wall where if you're crouch blocking, you, you can't get out of it. You can't get out of it. And if you jump, there's probably a bird waiting for you. Okay, like I said, if you have a Zir and fiddle combo and you are able to fiddle bird, yeah, don't let them jump. Okay, they're not going anywhere. They're probably just going to take a m bunch of chip damage. Anyway, that's probably a Zir. Nothing much. Aphelios. I'm really going into these kits now since I'm bored. Aphelios. 
He'd be a bigger stance character than Udyr. Udyr was, you know, he's already understandable. Like, he has a bunch of stances. He can have a command grab. He can have a grappler stance. He can have a zoner stance. He can have a rushdown stance. He can have a, he can have a fucking full of all trade stance. It doesn't matter. He has stances. With Aphelios. With Aphelios, he has seven different guns. Now, my suggestion is he, to, to, you know, to form all the guns, like, like Dragon Balls, Super Fusion stuff, right? You should be able to form the guns. So, here's how it works. I think Sickle and Flamethrower should be one stance together. Yeah, you may be thinking, why, why, why that? No, I'm talking about my ass at this point. But, my ass proves a lot of points. Now, you, you got Sickle, which is a lifesteal, but you, it's melee. Okay, I think melee should be, it should be the base weapon of Aphelios when you start out. So, you're slicing and slicing, and for a special move while you have Sickle, you throw out the Flamethrower. Okay, now, your next stance is going to be the Sniper. Sniper under, is understandable, because, you know, pew pew, I'm at long range, but you should be punished, okay? We don't know if there are air dashes, there probably aren't air dashes, and if there if there aren't, you're probably gonna have to play Ari against Aphelios, but that's fine for the most part. We we they may change that, but Aphelios is a zoner, probably full screen. He's at the back. He's shooting like Jin, bang 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 bang. Okay, you do that. Well, boy, do I have news for you, because you're gonna be a lot more irritated when he has drumroll, please. Gravity gun. Now, like I said, effects don't really work as well in a fighting game as they do in, uh, you know, League. Um, but, there are cases, like I said, with Garrus having a sand pool, where it kind of just sucks the person in to that sand's so gravity. You can do the same. You can, slowing does kind of work. The... The issue is, it should just it should have cooldown. Like it should have the ammo system. Um, oh wait, why didn't I think about that? You know, scrap all that. He's a stance character, but you can't switch stances by force. You can only switch stances when you're out of ammo. That's how it works. There we go. Case in point. Trendemere, swing, swing, blade. Shen, swing, swing, blade. Continue. Fizz. Another Jabation character. Now I love Jabation. I love Jabating my opponent. I love I love making them think I'm gonna come from the sky, but really I'm gonna be right in front of them and they're gonna go snip 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 on them. Fizz, I hate Fizz. Fizz is a stupid character. He has a passive that should be given to every champion in the game, but Riot's like no 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 no. We don't want that. We want you to suffer. Just early today I played Renata. I try to flash towards my teammate to save him. Uh, I get cucked by the minions. Now. Let's get rid of that. Fizz is a character. He should be able to do some stupid stuff. And to, you know, to give him stupid stuff, he should have something like Leo's court, court Circle Forward Heavy, where he can go behind them and, you know, take him, even though it takes him out of the corner, you're still going to get some damage off of them, and you're going to end the match a lot quicker than them just sitting in a corner and blocking every damage, like as if they're the Great Wall of China blocking the Mongolians. Now, Fizz, Rashid, and DJ, they, they have a baby, right? This baby is named Fizz. Fizz can jump. Fizz can do stupid stuff. Fizz can has fireball immunity, which in a game where it might not have air dashes, but has a bunch of full screen fireballs, and we know how big the full screen may possibly be, uh, it's safe to say that Fizz has that opportunity to be even more annoying to get and to get to the, his opponent quicker. Okay, very simple case in point. Now, he is a command dash. I say command dash. Let's kind of. It's his dash, right? It's this point-and-click dash where he goes to his enemy. Now, I, I have a way to fix this. It's a command dash that goes into other moves, right? Kind of like every run, run ability. Every command dash goes into a different move. Okay, so, case in point, Fizz is a command dash. It can do, go into other shit. It can even go into his, in, his fucking invulnerability move, right? Where he's just immune to all the shit, and it doesn't matter. He's just king of the flippers, Okay. Case in point, command dash, flipping. What what else does he have? He has a buff. 
he has an install. Let's just m turn that into a super instead of being a base ability, because we know that stuff is not fun to go against, especially if that stuff is good. Mortal Kombat has it dead. It's, it's fine. And, you know, super again, shark. Unless you want to make, here, like, unless you want to make a shark a very dumb ability where it works like Testament's little portals of overhead and lows, you can make the shark go snip, 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 motherfucker, uh, on him, okay? On him, okay? Now, Garen, swing, 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 blade, Demacia, blah, blah, blah. Oriana and Kindred, they're both puppet characters, no case in point. Lamb, I mean, Kindred is two characters, but, you know, Lamb's, Lamb's doing all the, the shooty, shooty, while Wolf's doing all the bitey, bitey. So, while, while Lamb is in the back shooting arrows, you have Wolf. It's another idea, it's another case in point of the zone, of the subcategory zoner, the puppet. The puppet is, is, is a very difficult thing. I respect puppets more than actual zoners, because you have two characters, okay? You're the Ice Climber. You're playing Ice Climbers every damn time, okay? You're sending Wolf out, Wolf's trying to do shit, you're shooting shit, Sh shit's not working. What do you do? You switch to Oriana. What does Oriana do? Oriana is Minot. But, 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 Minot is a puppet character. So how is that any different than what Lamb is doing? Well, my dear friend, Lamb can jump over shit, right? Lamb, Lamb, Lamb she, can, she, she can jump, right? She has a three-strike bow shot, right? That's not new with projectiles. It's easy, okay? Now, but what if you're having an issue with a zoner who's out zoning you? Well, my friend, Oriana has that covered. Because she can send out her ball like a... She can send out her little orb like a bowling ball. She can roll it under all the projectiles. Doesn't e even get hit, right? It's just going to roll it. It's going to be hitting you. And then once it's over there, well... Now it's difficult, because Wolf can still probably be, is a character that still should, still and should get hit, okay? The ball is not going to get hit. It's going to be there, and you're going to try and zone, but you're going to get punished every time, because Oriana's going to clap her hands, and the ball is going to go, shwow, okay? Now, Oriana's doing her little ballet. She's doing a little Manon stuff. She's going a little twirl, 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 twirl. Okay, this, okay, we're right back to Five Nights at Freddy's, where we're trying to get away from Ballora. And by the time you're... Now understanding, oh, this person's a bastard. He has a very simple pattern of every time I shoot, she shocks. Okay, but by the time you figure that out, she's already up to you, and you're getting you're getting juggled by not only gears but feet and twirls. Okay, Cled. Cled would be the best unique character in this game. Cause you don't see characters who go. 50% health, or not even 50, 20% health, and their best buddy leaves them. I say, Colette is a stance character, but is forced to be it. Okay. Now, the Yordles are already kind of difficult to work into a fighting game, because we've already, because we've had our fair share of short characters. Pet Shop, and Neko, Neko Arc, it, it's all the same. They they are just pain in the ass, okay? Some moves just don't hit them, and it's bullshit. Now, Khaled. Now, if if I if we understand Yordles, we can probably have Yordles up to like big old mascot outfit size. Well, let's not think about that for a second. Khaled has a command dash. He has a pull. He has anything a fighting game character would have, okay? He has a he has a ranged hit grab. He has a command dash to get closer, and he has a Rekka. Rekkas are great. You gotta love Rekkas. Kled, when he's at 20% health, he doesn't have his command dash anymore. So by the time you're playing Kled and you're 20% health, you're kind of screwed because you have nowhere to get him. But that's where I'm, you're wrong, my friend. Kled has a shotgun. That shotgun has recoil. And if I know anything about playing stick fight and playing with the shotgun, you you know that the shotgun sends you flying. Okay? So Kled has two options. He can either he can either shotgun at the enemy up close, but he's knocked back to neutral, which that's never good. Or 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 Kled shotguns himself 
up into the air. And depending if there is an air dash or not, Kled is able to get to his opponent quickly. Now, another thing that you should know, Kled has two, has two shotgun bullets. So this means he can redirect where his shotguns go. But I mean, you have to do, this is, this is tight, this is tight, this is a tight timing situation. If Kled shotguns you, he's knocked back into neutral, he has to quickly redirect himself. Okay, he has a very short fr window frame. Okay, that's what you need to know. Okay, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be easy as like, oh, I'm back in neutral, let me just, no, you're just, it's a quick frame where you can use two ammos. Okay, but. There is a cooldown. It should have a gimmick. And like any ammo-based character, every, there should be a gimmick. Now, some characters don't need an ammo-based system. Jin is a character who needs, who needs an ammo-based system. Graves does not, because Graves is fucking ass at times, right? You can be, either be good at Graves or you can be bad at Graves. And this is a situation where we have Graves in a fighting game, uh, which I will not go into deeper. So that's the super like of most of them, at least. Now... No, 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 no. We're going into very likely. Aatrox is a is swing swing blade. M Morikaiser swing swing mace. Renekton swing swing blade. Alistair, this is where we can. This is where we turn Alistair into one of the best grapplers of all time. Now Alistair has moves. <laughs> Alistair is a very slow character in a fighting game. But what if we didn't have to do that, right? What if we make Alistair one of those very rare f grapplers where they are very fast? Because we all seen Alistair in League of Legends. We know that he can run at you, and it's menacing. Okay, he's not. He's he's slow, he's walking, but he's walking out of. He's fast walking, so he's a fast grappler. Now. I do say, when you have a slow grappler, it's better to give them options where they can hit you, far, where they have far-reaching normals, okay? But if you are a fast grappler, in trade, you should have short-ranged grapp- you should have short-ranged normals, okay? But they don't ever do this, and Zangief is, one, is a victim of that, where he has- where he has no ranged normals to get to his opponent, and has only one move- where it can get their fireballs, but he's open for such an amount of time where they can punish him for it. Now, Lily is a better fight grappler, in my opinion. Not only is she, not only does she, is she fast, but her normals are great. Now, what I just what I just said is counteracting that what I said earlier. It's it's the idea that. She's not even fast. That's the thing. She's not fast. <laughs> and you're like, what do you mean she's not fast? She has more She has more speed than Zangief. Now, that may be true, but she's not fast. Because you, you only think she's fast because she's always doing her air dash move. Okay? That's the only way she gets through things. It's perfect. It works well. It's T-Hawk. But in T-Hawk, didn't have that option, though, though. He only had the dash. Now, back to Alistair, very, he has a command dash, okay? This is his headbutt. Now, his command dash can work two ways. If he doesn't hit the person, it, it's just a regular command dash. It should not have fireball immunity, though. Maybe it has armor. Maybe it should have armor. That's most likely it. But, but if it does hit the opponent, not only is he able to knock him, knock him up, but he was able to ground pound, which we all know ground pounds, they're unblockable, right? They're unblockable lows. But with Alistair, it's, a, it's not a full screen ground pound. It's a very close range ground pound in which he can now, in which it should send out an entire shockwave. Both as, and serves as both an unblockable anti-air and an unblockable in general. Okay, but it's a very short range, so you gotta use it wisely. This works with the Alistair combo in League of Legends, where he comes running at you, uh, head head rushes into you, and knocks you up. That's how we can. That it works well. It works not as a wreck but works as more like a KOF move in some cases. Okay, then he has a stun. Now the stun I don't think works as well. So we we have a few options. We have just a big mega fist punch, right? That could just Splat you on a wall. It works as both 
but it, it, you know, it, it doesn't work mid screen, but it works as a, a, as like a corner. Alistair is a very scared grappler, and you he's probably gonna push you in a corner anyway, like he does in the games. He's very menacing. He goes in, you're and you and he goes in, knocks you up, you're pregnant, and you just don't want that happening. So you sit under the turret. Now, yeah, no, no. His ult, Shun. It's a it's a level one super though. Is a level one super should just be his ult. I don't think it's a level. It should be a level three. I don't think it should be a level two. Level one where he has, where he has armor, kind of like Leo stance where he can walk, has armor, can do some shit. That's that's Alistair. Yorick, I think shovel characters we don't see any. There's never been a fighting game character with a shovel. Yorick can work. He is the grave digger for crying out loud, the one who should have ended the ruined king, but he didn't. Because Riot cares about more of their popular champions than the actual lore of Yorick. Now Yorick, Yorick has a shovel, <laughs> but but there's I see I see simple ways. I see comedic ways. I see I see very funny moves. I see very funny moves. Now Yorick is known to send out cre create ghouls, okay, to do his bidding. Now, Yorick is not a puppet character. Even though he has the maiden, he's not a puppet character. I say I say this with most respect. This is probably a character um, one of those minion characters that do their own thing. They sit on the screen and they do their own thing. It's not a character you can control. Okay, Gargos in Killer Instinct has this move where he has a minion and it kind of just walks around. That's what the maiden should be. Let's just end, let's just do that. But the but the ghouls, I have funny ways of turning making the ghouls useful. Now the ghouls are known to you know walk around, be mindless, and attack anything they see, and unless you're sprays them, sprays the enemy with the mist, in which then it's a homing missile for the ghouls. Now it's kind of hard to do that. I can see I can say that the mist you know is a move. In general, it can be a very short range move, you know, like a jackal kick, a very short range and knocks him away, whatever. I'm thinking more like rains water where in MK11 where he sprays you and you're kind of like, oh, what the fuck, man? That's how the move should work. And I see two ways of working with his ghouls. For one, his Q is a, it's an empowered Q. It's an, it's an empowerment move. And it works in a MOBA, but it shouldn't work in a fighting game. And this may just be like my idea of like insults should only be supers and if not it's like it shouldn't be a thing at all. Um the shovel <laughs> he should he should be able to have a ghoul it's a full on animation as well. It's a ghoul he he, he and it, he can he picks it up, he tosses it up in the air and he swings the shovel hitting the ghoul directing it at you. That is how Yorick should work. And you can fight me on that. I think it is an incredible move. Now, Yorick has another move. And this is kind of the same situation that I have with his ear. Where he has a move where he can create a wall. Now, with Yorick, it's kind of a bit different. We're going to make it a bit different. Okay? It's a bit different. The idea we're going to do with Yorick is that they're encased. It's a, it's a, it's a circle. It's, they're encased in the ring. So, there's two ways of doing this. One, you have the enemy encased in the ring, but, 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 they can't move. They have to attack it, and I mean with a heavy attacks, which then kind of like puts them in a scenario where they're like, oh no, do I use my heavy and then get punished for it anyway? Or do I just wait it out? Because you can wait it out with like two seconds, you're probably, you're going to be out of it. The other way you can work it out. Is not like a bind, but just a limited time only smaller arena. With Azir, you're only having one side of the stage closed off. With Yorick, it can be a big old circle. And this, you can just make this like a super, level 2 super, right? And it is enclosed, and it encloses the entire stage, in which it's now easier to get them in a corner and pressure them for limited time only. It, it works. I those are my two ways of making it work with Yorick. Blitzcrank, he's a grappler. 
Okay, we've seen grapplers with electric based attacks. Okay, I'm talking about F F Frankenstein or Victor Stein from Darkstalkers. And he has command grabs, so very simple. He has a hit he has a range hit grab. His E, the knock up, yeah, nah, that that's that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a grab. We're turning that into a grab. His W is speed. There's there's a way to do this though. Potemkin's hammerhead. Now I hate armor. But when you have a character like Blitzcrank and Alistair and any one of the above, armor works. Now, you may be thinking, Captain, oh captain, what how how does that do anything? What armor? Does he just get armor? No. I said Potemkin's hammerhead. For those who don't know what Potemkin's hammerhead is, it's where he comes sliding in and, you know, bashes you with his two hands. That's how Potemkin works. Potemkin. Blitzcrank is a baby Potemkin. His W is going to be a speed boost, but it's a slide. It's kind of like slide in and, you know, hits you with the armor, in which you can then go into a full-on combo. Now, Blitzcrank, as again, has a far-raging hook. Okay, it's a hit grab. You should be able to redirect it. Okay, now that's it. Nautilus is kind of the same situation where his his, his they can get rid of his W, right? His W is like it's, it's another armor move. So the idea is, he his while he's a grappler, his hook, his anchor, should work like both a both a hit grab and a hammerhead. If it hits anything, if if it hits a wall. Think like Rash's move, where he has the tongue and he can redirect it anywhere to move around the stage. That's how the anchor would most likely work. Not only will it have armor, it can take him anywhere. And his E is is a knockup. Let's, let's just go with that. Same with R. I have nothing for Nunu. Annie's, I, Annie's just going to work like Enchantress from DNF Duel. Syndra's got balls. I, it's another zoner. Nocturne may work. Signs, eh. Lilia, I love centaurs, but I think we give that to Hecarim more than Lilia. Not because I like Hecarim, I I love Lilia a lot more, but because Hecarim has more capable moves. Lilia, she has a fucking she has a ground projectile. Okay, she has a she has a twirl. Uh, that's okay. Uh, she has a she has a slam. That that's okay. Hecarim kind of is the same thing though, but. Command dash. I think command dash characters work a lot well in, in a game like Project Dell where you're rushing at the person. So, Gragas. He's not. He's. He, I want him to work like Rufus, but better. I hate Rufus as a character. I want Gragas to be as mobile as Rufus, but still having that charm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna end it there though. Fuck. I'm not even playing Guilty Gear. I, I spent this entire time ranting only to talk about Project Dell shit and other. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Wanna, we're looking at Fight Sticks before I end this damn stream. I wanted to look at Fight stream Sticks before I end this stream. God damn it. I'm pissed off at myself. Oh, yeah, yeah look at that. Project Dell. Look at that. Oh, and it shines. Weird position to put Ari, but it's, that's cool. Yeah. A flat box. What is this? What's this lever here? The cl with the clicky style buttons weren't printing very well before me. Okay, he's worked on this before. Where is, is there a previous version on this? He's also got petals. That's fire. I don't know what this is, though. What? My first level list all button hit box control and I've started off with in a place by learning that to use the D brick at the same time as learning the movement of buttons. Oh is this something from I don't know. So 
So that's for so awesome. That would be cool. Um, it's a nice ergonomic way of using of using that button with the tip of your pinky and staying on the button above it. Huh. So I guess like you can use it as anything. It just works as a regular button uh, with the pinky, I guess. That's probably like that's cool. If you, and it looks like you you lay your pinky on it, so whenever you're, so it's better reaction time with your pinky in a fight in a with an arcade stick. Okay. What are you? This is a Razor Kitson. Oh. And okay. <laughs> that's pretty. A lot of a lot of oh, stickless buttons though. I, I I it's not that I hate stickless buttons. It's just. Damn, it takes away something. It takes away something. I don't know what it is. Uh, PC B broke. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's eight buttons. I can tell. <laughs> I want to see. Oh, here we go. Now we're now we're talking. Look at that. It's ramen. It's ramen. I shot one too far back. Shit, shit, shit. I always like the wooden arcade sticks. I think they're more elegant. If I ever had like a samurai showdown style stick, I definitely would want to have like wood. My characters wood burnt, just to go with that idea. Um, what else do we have here now? We have the ramen stick. What is this? Oh, he's just cleaning. Wow, that was. Oh, that's fucking dirty. Wow. This. What the fuck am I looking? What the hell? It's got a bunch of venter keys. The shit box. No, that's it, it, everyone's like pre preference. If I had the chance to make a new arcade stick, uh, I definitely would want like the you know those foam pads you have on your on the Xbox. You know those foam pa pads you have on your uh, keyboard sometimes, like. To, for your wrists, so you don't get cramps as much. I would like, I, I would like to have a bigger arcade stick, and I have like some space to put that foam, uh, that leather padding, leather padding on. I think that would be nice. But at the same time, maybe it like messes around with my movability, so I would have to experiment on that idea. And if I do, um, do that, definitely would also like would make my own kind of stuff to sell to people. In case they want that kind of same feeling. Oh, uh, this is pretty. I like, I like the buttons here. The keyboard buttons. Oh, well, someone's trying to figure out. Poor soul. Oh, nice bike, bike and stick. Or, what is it? Hitbox. The Strongly one is cool, though. Look at that. Gold and blue. There was one I saw. I was watching this dude earlier, and so and apparently the person commissioned was like, asked like that for a Darkstalker themed arcade stick, and I I, I already knew like this person. They, is already a great wife. <laughs> to do that, it was a it was an Egyptian style arcade stick as well. Like the ball top and everything had a pyramid, and the uh, buttons were in Icarus's color. It was it was just brilliant. Like, the artwork had Felicia messing around with anarchist, uh, you know, yarn stuff. It's cool. What the fuck? There's, like, someone made a Courage stick. Yo, Courage, the first season two. Is it just me, or do they, like, with Street Fighter and... Well, both Street Fighter and uh, Mortal Kombat, they announced their DLCs very early. Right, I know we like saw the leaks and we knew it was bound to happen with Street Fighter and uh, Mortal Kombat, but, but damn, I didn't think they would like, go ahead and do all that. Well, I thought we were still gonna like do the wait for people who didn't like do look at the leaks. Uh, I got the far back. I didn't get the far back. Shit. No. Sh 
shit, uh, it's so laggy because I got Guilty Gear in the background. I haven't played it all. I haven't played it this entire stream. Um. Oh, that's the close soul caliber. That's the fuck. It's a bad guy. Got him. Yeah, here it is. What the fuck is this? This is an Xbox. And he's not playing Killer Instinct. Um. This this uh Chunling one is pretty cool though. I like the gold buttons. <sighs> yeah, and yeah, I, if I make a new arc, it's like definitely gonna have some gold buttons. Fuck it. We got Vegeta. Just a simple slick design is cool. It looks like he's playing on a Mayflash. This jury one's okay. I've never been a big fan of jury, I'll be honest. She's like, a, she's a false psycho. She's a traumatized psycho. She's not really, she's only doing it because it's a, uh, what you call them? It's a self-defense mechanism. That's what it is. If Aki, it's completely different unless we decide, unless we go into it further with her uh, design or a background story. And then in that case, she might be the same as Jerry, which are traumatized. But she never looked, she, well, oh, fuck it, she, never, she didn't look traumatized. She didn't look like a traumatized character. She just, she's the girl that Fong decided to raise and like uh, teach her his ways. That's what Fong did, and I think she gained a lot of the sad uh, sadisticness of Fong. This Sam Show box goes hard. And I know who this dude is. I f don't remember his name though. But damn, that that's respect for them putting him on a stick. I would not expect that. Uh, we got some. Oh, these are for Punk and Knuckle Doom. The fuck. No, what the fuck is that Gwile one, man? That, Gwile, that Gwile one's fire. Oh yeah, it's Chipotle as well. They got a partnership and everything. This is Johnny Fraser's work as well. That's dope. What are you? Oh, it's a Digimon. Takedo's buttons. Oh no. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought they were, like, gonna be sticking out. <laughs> May fa- May- May flash. May flash 500 mod. Cool. Okay. What is this button? This WASD, but what is this button? Playing with analog. Oh, he's making an analog stick. Oh, he's making a, 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 a loverless with analog. Okay, cool. There was an arcade stick like that coming out, right? Was it was it uh, junk food arcades that was working on that? Where it was like a, both a loverless and had analog buttons? <laughs> or am I wrong there? Okay, the same as one's cool. We got some LEDs. A Yu-Gi-Oh one, the fuck? Oh, I didn't want to click. I might have to just end stream. I, I think I had a good time talking about League for no reason. This is meant to be a Guilty Gear stream, but fuck it. I'll just fucking put in the VOD something saying. This meant was this was meant to be a Guilty Gear stream, but I, I start ranting about shit. Yeah, thank you for watching the stream, lads and lasses. Hope you had a good one.